Hey, how you doing? It's Jeff DeAndrean. I'm uh, uh, the writer and producer for Rebellion, one of the unreleased tracks that you're voting for on the Britney Spears Lovers Forum, and I hope it gets your vote. I mean, it just should. That's my two cents. So, Some questions coming through on the uh, forum, and I'm going to answer those. As you, Through the most supportive forum, as a lot of Britney Spears forums like to trash us, some and questions are uh, coming up about album number eight and what I think about some of the producers involved and by the anticipation for this uh, release. Um, I'm going to go and I'll say for the record, I'm not a big fan of Will I Am. I think the guy personally is all right, but he's uh, overpaid, it's overblown, overhyped, uh, overindulgent individual who really doesn't have Britney Spears' best interest. If you notice the Scream and Shout song, um, the remix is what people are drawn to, and that remix is by Hip Boy. Hip Boy should definitely be involved in this production, but the guy that should be in Will I Am spot is Mike Will. Mark my words, Mark Mike Will from Atlanta. Williams is his last name, and he's 24 years old. He has his finger on the pulse of what's going on in the clubs. I mean, he knows what's hot, you know, on the street. This is the guy that should be producing this album if you want it to be a major hit and have it resonate with people that are. Uh, you know, 18 to 24, and also fans of Britney from back in the day. This is uh, the guy, Mike Will, I'm telling you. People don't listen to me, but if they brought him in, he's the guy responsible for the latest Miley Cyrus song, uh, and I know for a fact that Britney does like that song, so, I mean, why not have the guy that's, uh, you know, behind that? What I would do, and this is controversial, but I would have Britney go with, like, my 18-year-old nieces to a, a club in Hollywood, like a hot club, have her hear what's going on, what's pumping through the speaker system, have them go in a room with an 8 ball of Coke and drink a pitcher of margaritas, and then just before she's about to crash, bring her down to uh, the recording studio and have her, you know, bring her artistic you know, visions outward. Normally there are monetary damages plus like real punitive damages plus like the legal costs that go around, you know. Zamba owns, I mean, they, they own the copyrights to all of Britney's recordings. So, I mean, I have the original track, but I mean, it's a family really, I've said this before, Christopher Notes who owns the original stems for the recordings. So, um, that's, that's as far as I'm going with that one.